New question, the member from Newmarket, Aurora. Thank you, uh, Speaker. To the Minister of Health. Speaker, it's been uh, some two years that we've heard from the Minister of Health that all is well at Orange. Here are yesterday's headlines from the Toronto Star. Orange endangered helicopter pilots, federal probe says. Order. The Globe and Mail. Orange's lack of training endangered pilot safety, federal report says. From the Toronto Sun, next tragedy, inevitable and less service stripped of air operations. And Speaker, today we find that last Friday there were no helicopters available in Thunder Bay, in Moosonee, and in Kenora due to helicopter pilot shortage. And we continue to hear from frontline staff that the air operations of Orange are in serious trouble. Question. Speaker, three federal reports, continuous input from front lines. Why does this minister not acknowledge that the aviation aspects of Orange should be outsourced? Thank you. Even the CEO agrees Thank you. with that. Thank you. Minister of Health, long-term care. Uh, well, Speaker, I, I have to say that, um, that there's an, been an extraordinary change at Orange, and change does take some time, but I have to say that the new leadership team at Orange is extraordinary. It is an exceptional group of leaders, Speaker. I believe that even the member from Newmarket Aurora has on several occasions acknowledged uh, the skills and the expertise of that new leadership. They are doing their work. I have confidence in them that they are doing the right thing, Speaker. And, uh, you know, when I look at uh, someone like Dr. Andrew McCallum, who is prepared to come and work as president and CEO of, uh, of Orange, uh, Speaker, he came to that job when it was a very difficult organization to take over. He is an exceptionally well-qualified person with experience in trauma, Answer. Speaker, uh, with experience as a pilot. Yep. This is a man who is leading real change at Orange, and I think it would be appropriate that Thank we support you. that change. Thank you. Supplementary. Well, Speaker, then why doesn't the minister listen to Dr. McCallum? Here's what Dr. Andrew McCallum told the Public Accounts Committee two weeks ago when I asked him if divesting the aviation operations of Orange will be considered as part of his strategic plan. I quote from Dr. McCallum's testimony. The short answer is yes. We're open to all models. Proper strategic planning should consider all aspects of what the company does and what's best for the mission that the company is trying to achieve. Why isn't she listening to Dr. McCallum? The CEO is willing to look at all options, but when I put the same question to the minister, just days after that, her response was an emphatic, no, we will not do that. Would the minister tell us, would the minister tell the pilots and the paramedics and Dr. McCallum why she is preempting Orange's own strategic plan to consider outsourcing the Thank aviation you. operations of Orange? Thank would you. she do that? Uh, Speaker, I would urge the member opposite to actually take a look at Hansard. What he suggested that we do is privatize Orange. I tell you, we are not going to privatize Orange. The member opposite, I, I would say you check Hansard. Check Hansard, Speaker. Uh, you know, the, the, there, is a, um, there is an ideological the event, Speaker, on the party opposite to privatize services. They privatized the 407. Uh, I think we all know that we have lost billions of dollars in revenue as a result of that scheme. Uh, they, they, they had a failed privatization of uh, hydro. The rate skyrocketed, 30 percent, Speaker, because of that commitment to privatize. I take advice from Dr. McCallum. Your question was about privatizing Orange, and privatizing Orange is not an, a plan, Speaker. Thank you. Your question? From Windsor to come see.